Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey, look, it's Optimus Minimus. I am Optimus Prime. Well, that's just Prime. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another figure from the upcoming Transformers 1. It's the Deluxe Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax. I found this at a local Target in the Norgate area, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check him out. So here we have Optimus slash Orion in the box. We've got the Transformers 1 logo. It's an open face box, which I do not like at all. It's got the Transformers 1 logo up there. We get some artwork on the side, more artwork on the side, and uh, a lot of gold I notice in it. I guess the Golden Age of Cybertron, maybe? But yeah, looks pretty decent. It's Prime and Orion packs, which is kind of interesting. Double uh, bill, I guess, for Optimus there. So yeah. Definitely interesting. Back of the package shows the transformation and the play gimmicks. Comes with a little matrix. I dig that a lot. That's really about it for the package. Let's get this guy out of box and see what we think. So here we have Optimus Prime slash Orion packs out of the packaging. And, you know, for a main movie line figure, it's not too terribly bad. He does come with his axe, which I've got a few issues with we'll go into. But overall, I mean, it looks like Optimus Prime. And uh, that's not too bad. Now, he does come, like I said, with the axe. I like how it sits on his back. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, just kind of take a look at it really fast. It's a light blue. I'd prefer that be translucent blue. But, uh, yeah. The other thing that's weird, he's got these fingers on here when he holds it. Looks like he's just holding it by the ball instead of it having it being an Energon axe. I don't know if that's going to be in the movie like that or what. I just prefer the Energon axe. I think that would have looked a lot better. Now, getting this thing off, um, be careful when you get this thing off because the hinges on the hands are very weak. And this thing is kind of tight to get out of his hand. Um, I'm not a fan of this at all. I feel like every time I do this, I'm going to break the wrist. Um, so be aware of that. It'll come right out of there. I mean, you can slap it back in, but I feel like it's just going to break at some point. And I'm not a fan of that. So, yeah, that little pin should have been a little bit thinner. And, yeah, I don't know about the fingers. Just not a fan, I don't think. Now, in addition to the axe, we do have the pipes, which is actually a cool feature. These actually pop off of Optimus here. And you can use them as little blasters. I like this gimmick. This is a really cool gimmick that we have not seen before on an Optimus Prime figure, so I definitely dig that. He's got more of an Orion Pax look without the stacks. I wish they would have come with an alternate head for Orion Pax without the battle mask. That would have been really cool. Then it really could have been Optimus Prime and Orion Pax. So yeah, there is that gimmick. So there he is, looking very much like Orion Pax with the Optimus head. This is on a ball joint, moves up and down, goes really far back for transformation. Um, the arms are on a ball joint. They move up and down and around. Um, we've got this nice hinge joint at the elbow. There's also a twist right there, which is nice. Definitely dig that. We do have a hinge at the hand, but that is for transformation. We've got side movement to waist, but uh, it is a little hampered. Leg kicks that far forward, kicks all the way back does kick out super, super far, which is very cool, very nice. We have a twist at the upper leg, which I dig. I think that's cool. And then we've got a really nice knee joint right there. And then, unfortunately, nothing at the feet, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I wish we had at least a hinge joint on the foot, but, uh, yeah, we don't have that. So that's really about it as far as the articulation goes on this guy. Um, some good stuff and some okay stuff. Now one of the other cool gimmicks about this uh, figure I really do dig and uh, it's he's got a matrix chamber underneath. I think that's nice. It's built into his truck mode. 
So this becomes the grill that also acts as a matrix chamber. So you're gonna flip this up and there's the matrix. It's kind of annoying to get to it, but it is there. So I'm gonna pop it out right there and then um, we'll take a look. Let's close this back up. And here is the matrix. It is wee tiny small. And it's an interesting looking little matrix. I like how it doesn't have the handle grips underneath. That way the figure can actually grip this. So you can actually put this in the hands. You gotta work it just right so that he can hold it. But he can actually hold the matrix, which is pretty awesome. A lot of these prime figures cannot hold the matrix toys that come with them but uh, he can hold it, so I appreciate that. I think that is super cool, especially in a deluxe figure. Uh, it's something you don't, don't really see, so that's definitely a very big plus gimmick for me uh, on this figure as far as the price point, because it's 20 bucks. Um, I don't know if this is really worth $20, but at least we get uh, a Matrix out of it, which surprised me. I was not expecting that in a deluxe figure. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and pop this sucker back in here. It can only go into the matrix chamber one way, right there like that. So it's kind of shaped like the matrix chamber, but yeah, definitely a great little gimmick. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I like the figure for the most part. The design's pretty good. I like it. I like the chest. The face looks like Optimus Prime. He's got the stacks. I like the fact that the stacks can come off to become weapons. It makes him look more like Orion Pax, but I really wish that you were able to either flip the battle mask off or just swap out the head or something to actually make him Orion Pax. Other than that, I mean, this thing looks good. Love the paint apps. Love the yellow lights on the shoulders. Everything is done pretty well for a deluxe. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, it's done pretty well. This is mostly gray and silver plastic, blue parts. There are some gaps in the figure. Most of that's for transformation, so lots of detail in it. And uh, again, I mean, it's a pretty decent looking Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax figure for sure. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. This is one of the weaker points. He stands really well, and I like how the wheels are built into it, but his feet, they just have zero articulation, and I do like the stability, but at the same time, I really wish we had just a little bit of articulation at the ankle. For comparison, here we have the Transformers 1 Deluxe Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax next to the Nemesis Leo Convoy. This is my custom paint version. If you want to check this video out, I will add a link up here at the top to it. And as you can see, uh, it is it is a deluxe size figure. It's not too terribly big, but it's also not that small. Now, transformation on this figure is kind of a pain in the butt up around the upper parts. So first thing we're going to do is take off these stacks now you don't have to but it's a lot easier they're just going to fall off as you try to transform this rotate the head back like this then we're going to put the fists into the forearms like this so we're going to get those kind of out of the way then we're going to lift the backpack back just a little bit so we're going to unattach it and this thing does not move very well i'm going to warn you right now it's kind of a pain in the butt then we're going to rotate the back backwards like this and then we want to get the arms undone uh, be careful he will pop the ball joints off of the shoulders super easy so you'll kind of get those down like that straighten these out a bit like that then we want to lift the matrix chamber up to make his grill for his truck like this and then we're going to rotate this in. And this is where it gets really annoying. This thing gets really annoying. So spin the top of the truck around like this. And then you're going to get this far enough back and rotate this down. And when you do this, make sure this thing is back as far as it will go. Back like this. Then you can flip this top kind of down and flip the truck down. And it's going to slide into place. Kind of click into place. Make sure the head... Is not creating an issue make sure it's all the way back 
and then it will snap down into place. Make sure your arms are all the way down like this. Make sure that back is snapped all the way back and it will turn it into the cab like that. So arms all the way down, back all the way down, and that will go into the cab mode like that. Once you get that there, you're halfway there. So now we're gonna work on the legs. To do that, we're going to open up the thighs like this, and then we're gonna spin them around, and then we're gonna click them back into place to close them up like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So open that up, then spin this around like that, wrap it around, and then click it into place like this. The instructions say to close it up right here, but I find it's easier to kind of just get them out of the way. And then what we're gonna do now is get these shoulder bits flat all the way down. So we're going to move these all the way down flat like this. So it kind of looks like this. And the red piece is gonna rotate upward and click into place. So this is very annoying, be aware of this. So we're gonna rotate that up, get the arm situated. Let's see, which way does it go? Oh, around this way, like this, cause this is gonna click on the back of the cab. So that's gonna click there. And then this is gonna click behind the cab. So you're going to wrangle this into place. Once you get into place, it'll lock in really, really nice. But yeah, so you're gonna push that in and click that into place like that. And then this is gonna click back here. Mine will not click in until I get the foot connected on the back. So this back piece is gonna to connect to the foot. So, but that's gonna to go to the back there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna rotate this up, get this leg out the way. And they're going to rotate the arm around to click it onto the back as well. So now what we want to do, again, get this to click up on the back side. Get that clicked in there. Let's make sure the red pieces are clicked into place on both sides. Get your arm kind of tilted back and into place. It's going to be at a weird angle. As you can see, almost a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to click them into the feet right there. Once you get them clicked into the feet, they lock right into place, really nice. And then you can snap the legs together and there we go. We've got Optimus Prime pretty much together. So once you get all those connected on, it's really, really solid, it really is. And then we're gonna take the tail pipes and we're just gonna click these on like this. And click this one on as well, like this here. And uh, there we have Optimus Prime in his truck mode. So the truck mode itself is actually pretty decent when you get him there. I like the look. I like the design. I love that window. Um, it's getting that cab into place that's just a pain in the tuchus. It rolls really well. I will say that, which is very cool. Um, it's not a bad design. I like the front end. I like the yellow, the light blue window looks good. Um, it looks pretty decent. It hides the hands. This is where the battle axe goes and you put it between the legs. So you just kind of take this and you will put that down into place and unclick the legs and click it into the hole for the battle axe. Um, be nice to have a trailer, uh, to use that for a trailer right there. That'd be kind of cool. Um, the pipes, definitely dig the tail pipes on there. Like the silver, that all looks pretty decent. Now you can take the tail pipes and move them forward to give him some blasters. So this looks pretty cool. I like that design as well. I think that looks pretty nice. You can lift them straight up like a regular truck if you so desire as well. But overall, I mean, I think this thing looks pretty darn cool. So is the Transformers 1 Deluxe Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax figure something you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you are a completist, this might be something you're after. If you're really into this Transformers 1 movie, this might be something you're after. Um, if you're an Orion Pax fan, you might like this. If you like Cybertronian Optimus Primes, this might be up your alley. To me, to be honest, this is about $5 too expensive. This is about a $15 figure. I think it's too difficult to transform, and uh, some of the parts feel a bit weak. Um, if they provided a trailer, I think that would have been a lot cooler. Um, overall, for a mainstream deluxe line, it's not a bad figure, but it's not the best. So there he is! Optimus Prime slash Orion Pax for Transformers 1. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. 
thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.